Hi guys, how's it going? I hope all and pardon me. Okay, I'm still waiting for my stuff to get back at home, so I'm still using the the small bugger. It is quite good. It's not a bad a bad amplifier. Let me let me see if I can if I can tune the get R properly and really pardon me for my shitty English but uh, I don't live in a English speaking English speaking country since uh, 2017 17 I read my my English worsened a lot but anyway I was just coming out with a short lesson and again uh, I'm not saying that I'm the best guitarist uh, on this planet neither the best guitarist on YouTube and I can tell you that most of the rock stars you see playing a large-scale concert they are not the best guitarists you can find on uh, on the market I'm just a guy that wants to show exactly what he learned spending money spending time okay and pass information to the other guys who like guitar without asking any money that I don't ask any fucking money sorry for the word uh, I, I I don't ask anything but I want to pass proper information okay we talk about the, the pentatonic scale for those who know this thing uh, this concept uh, just leave this small video alone and don't watch it if you're interested it's really cool okay so we talked about the pentatonic scale and we know that the pentatonic if we pick up a G okay for example is it is a uh, a G tune okay as a fundamental note as a tonality the relative minor is E okay got G E what does it mean that these two notes are interlaced they are together okay like E for example and sorry a and f sharp those are together a minor always four frets below you got the relative minor okay so if you got this note this chord Okay, A minor, and you play a pentatonic scale, so a scale that is made with intervals of third major, fourth, augmented fourth, fifth. play the scale while a guy from your band plays a rhythm part based on the A progression you will play a major major scale Okay, 
that's the thing to remember it is not so easy because I mean you can use this concept but then you can go Combine the scale. Combine the scale, shifting from one octave to the other. Combine it with diminished scale, whatever you like. Okay, or play the scale horizontally. Okay, so horizontally, vertically, diagonally. Okay. And Combine the horizontal notes to create a scale, okay, and create a major sound. Then, what is really important is to understand why the people have the concept that the scale, the pentatonic scale, could be either major and minor. Okay, basically, the pentatonic scale is a, is a minor scale. You got this scale, okay? This is the pentatonic scale. It's a, it's a minor scale. No one can tell it's a major scale. Pentatonic major, you see it written on the pages of some books. It is correct because you can use the scale as a relative minor, so that becomes major, okay? That's the point.